our Mini Cello Pirates. Welcome to our lesson on heading up and bearing off today. All right, our objective, brought to us by Polly the Parrot, is you guys will be able to head up and bear off using double-handed cheating and maintaining proper cell trim when prompted by the coach in five to 10 knots of wind. Sound good? Awesome. So before we can get onto those drills that you see there, we have to do a quick skill review. All right, so, We've already learned this stuff in the lesson before. Now we're just going to review it. All right, so these are all of the steps to heading off, and these are all the steps to bearing off, but they're in the wrong order. we got to try and unscramble them so that we know, okay? So, step number one of heading up. Using your free hand, reach down and grab the main sheet, then pull it back to its other hand. Is that step number one? No. Do you think so? No, okay. So we know this is incorrect. What about push the tiller away from you so your bow is closer to the wind? Step number one, first thing you should do with that would be correct. Yes. Amazing. Okay. So step number, this one says pass the main sheet to the tiller hand so it holds both the main sheet and the tiller. Should that go before or after? Using your free hand, reach down and grab the main sheet then pull it back to the tiller hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sail trim for your point of sail. Yes? That's number four. That is number four. So this is number three. Amazing job, you guys. You just unscrambled heading up. So you're going to push the tiller away. You're going to pass the main sheet to the tiller hand so it holds with the main sheet and the tiller. Then using your free hand, you're going to reach down and grab the main sheet, pull it back to the tiller hand, and then you're going to pass your main sheet to your tiller hand and repeat until you have the correct sail trim. Amazing. Okay, bearing off only three steps this time. So let's try and unscramble them. Step number one, do we think easing the main sheet gently and loosening our grip is the first step? Yeah. I think that that should be number two. That is right, awesome. So these two can be switched. Do we think we have the proper order now? Yes, awesome. So pull the tiller towards you gently so the stern is closer to the wind, is number one. Then you're gonna ease your main sheet gently, loosening your grip and letting it slowly slide through your hand. And then you're going to ease the crew, will ease the jib alongside the main sheet, making sure it remains full of air. Awesome. Okay. Now that we have reviewed our skills, let's move on to our drills where we'll be using these skills that we've just learned. Okay? So, first drill that we're going to do is all hands on deck. As you can see, it kind of looks like a sausage. You're just going to go around. Alright, so key points for this drill. We're going to get used to our conditions. We're going to identify where the wind is coming from. This is very important when we use, start doing the rest of our drills. And then you're going to practice tacking and jogging and just getting all warmed up. Okay? So, first drill following that is follow me. Our G's, this is a follow the leader drill. So when I blow three whistles in a row and point to my engine, I want you to follow me. Just like this, as you can see, this nice yellow boat. I will be in it. That is the coach boat. Key things to remember here, when we are bearing off, you want to ease the main sheet gently so you maintain balance, okay? When we just drop the main sheet and let it go, the boat starts rocking. It's not exactly the most ideal scenario. So we want to do it gently and in time with the jib. Awesome. So, simultaneously, sheet in or out while heading up or bearing off. So you don't head up and push your tiller out and then sheet in or pull your tiller towards you and bear off and then ease your main sheet. You want to do it simultaneously. Awesome? Okay. And the last one for this drill is holding onto the main sheet at all times when double-handed cheating. All right? So it's really important that we don't just yank it and then let go and then try and yank it again. You want to, it's called double-handed cheating because we're using both hands, right? Awesome. All right, our third drill is shiver me timbers. Yes. Do we all get a hook to double-handed cheat? Unfortunately, no. I, I did lose my hand, so this is my hook. <laughs> if you... <laughs> okay. Our third drill, shimmery. Yes. <laughs> How did you lose your hand? It was a crazy boating accident. <laughs> like on a sailboat? It was. Did a fish bite it? Mm -hmm. Really? It was a great white shark. We live in the middle of the ocean. Are we going to be sailing with great white sharks? We sail on the lake. 
No great white sharks. <laughs> All right, third drill, shimmer me shimmers. So this drill looks like a triangle drill, not quite. So this mark is just to jive at, and you can see here we have the windward mark, we're gonna bear off, then we have our jive mark, and we're gonna head up and start our upwind mark, upwind leg again. Okay, key things to remember for this drill, double hand cheating at the leeward mark when we're heading up. So as you're pushing that tiller away, you are cheating in to start on a close haul course again. All right, you're going to ensure that the jib remains filled with air when either sheeting in or out. So this is a cruise job. So when the, jib, when the main sheet is being let out, sheeted out, you wanna make sure the jib is as well at the same time, okay? So that they have the same sail trim and are on the same plane of sail. Okay, bringing me to my next point, which is maintaining proper sail trim at all times. So when we are heading up and when we are bearing off, we should be doing it so that our sail trim is proper all time. Okay, and this is our last joke. The most fun one of the day is as pirates, we are always on the lookout for treasure and today we get to battle for it. Okay, yes. Do we get swords? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be a yes. Do we get cannons? You can pretend that these nice purple balls are like your cannons. <laughs> so this is like a ball tag game. Alright, so you get to sail around this nice square that I've created, throwing the purple ball at your opponents, trying to gather it from the water. Alright, so key things to remember here as a cue from what we have learned before is. We already gently ease the main sheet when bearing off. We're going to use double hand sheeting when heading up. And we are going to use small tiller movements. So we're not tacking and driving every time. It's very small. Okay? We're just moving our bow or stern closer to the wind. Alrighty. Looking at these drills, can someone tell me one key point that they are going to focus on when we're around the water today? Yes. Well, one of my problems was like when tacking and driving, just like jamming the tiller super, super hard, mm -hmm. which is apparently not a good thing. So I'm going to be focusing on the smaller movements of the tiller and not tacking or driving every time. Perfect. Anything else? Let's move on. Awesome. All right. So before we go down the water, we need to know some safety signals. And these are pretty much general safety signals that everybody knows. So if we are in a state of emergency, if we have to have a quick head in, there's a thunderstorm, someone is hurt, we're going to use this sequence. So it's a red flag, I'll be waving over my head, and then continuous whistles, okay? I'll pop my whistle out there, tweet, 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 that means head in, it's an emergency, right away. Okay, second safety signal is control position. So this is when you come onto the leeward side of my boat, on starboard tack, okay, to signal that, you're going to use a yellow flag and three whistles. Okay? Sound good? Other key points to watch out for in our little bay in Midland is other boats. So technically sailboats have the right of way over other boats, but motorboats sometimes they just don't pay attention and they cut right through your course and it's super annoying, but we want to watch out for that. Okay? Also other sailboats, really good so there's no collisions. And as you're heading out of the marina, there are these big no wake buoys with white, they're white and they have red writing that says no wake. All right, you wanna make sure we avoid those because we can sometimes get our diving board or center board caught up in the chain and then it's super not fun, okay? So before we get out on the water, a couple of being ready, okay? Sunscreen, always. <laughs> It was pretty cool today, but that doesn't mean the sun wasn't out and you could totally still get burned. Layer then or a wetsuit. So the water is still fairly cold, so these are really good things to be wearing to make sure you stay warm and protect yourself from hypothermia. Alrighty, a hat. This can help you stay warm and also keep the sun off your face. Super important to have it on the water. Also, water. Staying hydrated. We want to make sure we don't get dehydrated or get heat stroke or anything like that. Shoes, protect your feet from the boat, can also help you stay warm when it is cold and the water is fairly cold. And gloves, also stay warm and protect your hands. Alrighty, any questions? Yes. Do we have to wear life jackets today? 
Of course, that is a mandatory at all times thing. <sighs> Anytime you go out sailing, you need to be wearing a life jacket. Okay? Sound good? So we can get started. Let's go get on our boats. <laughs>